let's just have some fun. Let's have some fun. I want to see if this oak goes. Let's see. The earthquake. <laughs> Eating it up. And the Oko is here! Let's go! Ah, very nice. What's poppin' everyone? We got the new Paradox forms that came out, the DLC announcement, the new Pokemon reveals as well as some returning ones like Metagross and Chinese Mamoswine, I saw that. And the 60 minute Wi-Fi timer? Like, it's a great day. Let me know in the comments what got you most excited. And today I figured I'd introduce to you all a new Chinese set. We have Chinese King Gambit. This Pokemon here is nothing to mess around with. We got AV Supreme Overlord with a very intricate EV spread, but the thing to note here is we got Grass Knot and Terra Grass. This allows you to destroy Pokemon such as Great Tusk, and also remove your weaknesses to turn it into a pretty much a counter to Great Tusk. Like, it's really, really good versus that Mon. With the 100 special attack, we'll be doing a lot of damage to Great Tusk. And look at this HP 369. Spadef 222. This is a very good, like, these are really good numbers. But it also does serve a purpose. Now, this allows you to not get to a KO by Moonblast from Choice Specs Iron Valiant. The HP and Defense allows you to survive a plus one Earthquake from Adamant Dragon Dance Dragonites. And the attack here allows you to Oko Dragapult with Sucker Punch from full HP. So I do like this EV spread a lot. Has a good purpose as well as looking good aesthetically. Hit some Chinese numbers right there. And um, yeah, four attacks. So this will be able to sponge a lot of hits in the metagame. And I'm hoping that we can put in some work with it by knocking out some great tusks. And then we have Serial Edge. Good mon for, uh, you know, bulking up and kind of just being a good sweeper overall. Pairs really well with King Gambit because the two of these are, I mean, they just look really clean together. Then we have some defensive pivots in Rotom Wash and Slitherwing. U-Turn and Volt Switch, of course, you already know. And both of these can uh, help, I guess, status things and... and and kind of make it easier for Pokemon like King Gambit and Serilla to sponge hits and take out a lot of different types of Pokemon. The cool thing is that Supreme Overlord doesn't only just boost our physical attacks when Pokemon are knocked out, it also boosts the power of Grass Knot. So I think after one Pokemon is knocked out, the Grass Knot is an Oko guarantee on, on Great Tusk. And uh, then we have Rocks, Garchomp here, of course. The Life Orb, Draco Meteor hitting a lot of things in the tier as well as Fire Blast for the Corviknight and stuff, which opens up King Gambit. But Serilla also is, is really good against... Um, uh, Corviknight as well as, as Rotom Wash and stuff like that. And then finally Hatterene. Got the King and the Queen. Got Hatterene here with the Calm Mind. You already know it's going to be putting in the work with Rocky Helmet and stuff like that as well. And a way to bounce back opposing hazards. And that's going to be the squad. So let's go ahead and hop into our first game. And hopefully we get some great Tusk games. I want this Pokemon to put in the work. Because Chinese King Gambit is uh, is a fun mon to use. I've already gotten... Uh, I, I've been testing it a bit here and there. Like quite a bit. And I have gotten some compliments about uh, this set. But as you can see, we do have the Great Tusk here. <laughs> we do have it. So let's begin by, I believe, leading with Rotom is not a bad lead right now. Neither is Garchomp. Neither is Garchomp. So they lead Kilowattril. I'm going to go Rotom here in case of the potential Hurricane. Turn 1. As they air slash here, that does a lot of damage. Like, a lot, a lot of damage. Okay, so... I'm gonna double the King Gambit here as they go Claude Zire. And I believe we can go right for the Iron Head immediately. Iron Head will be doing a good amount of damage. They set up T-Spikes. Ah, that's annoying. That is annoying, but... Shouldn't really impact us. They go Corviknight here with the Rocky Helmet. That's fine. Let's go into... Let's go into Rotom here, I think is the play. They'll more, more than likely U-turn out. They don't know about the Grass Knot yet though. They don't. The T-Spikes are going to be annoying though. I probably should have gone uh, Hatterene. They go Kilowattril, let's protect here, see what they want to do. As they try to Volt Switch, we can go Garchomp here. Should be an easy Garchomp switch here. As they decide to try to do it again, we can Fire Blast here knowing that they are... Um... Yeah, I think Fire Blast is the play. We can also set up Rocks as well. But hitting this Corviknight is going to be really good for like the damage output. Yeah, this is Fire. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, I mean, Draco Meteor is more accurate. Draco Meteor is more accurate here. So let's go for that. Knock it out. Beautiful. So Corviknight's out of the way, which is really, really good for us. They go back into Kilowattril here. And more than likely, they'll click Air Slash, but they could also Vol Switch out. 
I'm gonna go, yep, this, perfect, perfect. Here, I think what we can do is just... We could protect first. As they try to go for air slash again. Okay, so they are committed to this air slash play. They could switch out, of course, but I don't know if they will or not. Um, as they do, okay, that's fine. It's, it's back at Hatterene for us right now because we don't want that second layer up. Because then, then things will start... Well, as long as we're poisoned, it won't matter anymore. Now, like, another T-Spike won't matter because we have boots on, like, everything else. And other stuff are immune to. So, here what we can do is we can just Mystical Fire and hit the Scizor slot. So, this is really, really good uh, for us because we Oko it completely. So, nice. That Mon out of the way is really good too. Skeledurge is in. So, with Skeledurge, what can we do? We could probably go into Rotom on this thing and try to Thunder Wave this Mon. If they try to stay in, like if we slow this thing down, that's going to be really good for King Gambit. Assuming this thing gets slowed down, I'm not sure if it will or not, but they go into Kilowattril. So we get to protect to see what they want to go for. If it's Air Slash, we can Hydro. I mean, they're going to go back to Clodzire anyway, so... Clodzire is a complete counter to this set, of course, but... Still, it's, um... It's not bad for us to kind of figure out what they want to do. So we protect, they try to... Oh, they have the regular U-turn. Uh, okay, cool. So... In this case, what we want to do here is perhaps we can go Slitherwing. Because, I mean, they're going to go Clod anyways, right? So we can go Slitherwing here. Just to kind of see what they want to do. They go Skeledurge. Okay, cool. It's back to Rotom for us then. At the Torch Song. The play is to just Thunder Wave here. So this is T-Spike's Earthquake. Do they have rocks or anything? Ah, they Terra Dark. Okay, that's good to know. So they Terra Blast, Terra Dark. This means that we can go Slitherwing here and get a big U-turn off. Or even a Close Combat looks pretty good too. Like I'm pretty sure it Oko's, but I think the U-turn's the better play right now. They go Great Tusk, which is interesting. I do really want to Terra this King Gambit. I really do. But I don't know if I... Hmm... Should I do it now, or should I do it later? <laughs> okay, because we have Pokemon that are already knocked out. And stuff like that, so... Actually, I'm gonna go Hatterene first. Just to kind of... Give them the false sense of security. Because I want to take them by surprise. Okay, so they knocked me out. You know what? You know what I think it's time for? I mean, we could go Garchomp here. Gar going Garchomp is probably the better play. But, let's just have some fun. Let's have some fun. I want to see if this Oko's. Let's see. The Earthquake. <laughs> Eating it up. And the Oko is here. Let's go. Ah, very nice. Very, very nice. New meta testing? Nah, this is the new meta testing right here. This is, this is what it is. I feel like a Sucker Punch would take this out from, from this range. So... I do think I want to go for it. Doesn't take it out, unfortunately. But we live! Ooh! <laughs> but we live! Yo! That's crazy! We actually live that because of the AV. Oh, that's amazing. Now Iron Head potential flinch chances there. Unfortunately not, though. But that's fine because of the fact that we can now just go into Slitherwing. Get a big U-turn off, which I think should knock it out. Perfect. Into Serilage we go. As they go Clodzire, now we have to keep this thing because of uh, Kilowattro, so we have to switch out here. And so they go for the Toxic. We can now click Close Combat. Pretty much just until we go down. And they're going to keep clicking Recover. But that does a lot of damage though, which is good. Always good to know. And so here we just go right for the U-turn always. I think I think we always go for the U-turn here. And bring in uh, Garchomp, I think is the play. As they recover, we now click Stealth Rocks. We could also Earthquake here, but I think Stealth Rocks is the play. Alright, so they go for the Earthquake, that's fine. I think that's fine. Um, 
play right now would be to go Serral Edge. Because if we can knock this out, we're in a good spot. So I think all we got to do here is Bitter Blade. Doing 38. Let's uh, taunt here. I think we taunt. So they can't recover. Nice. We should live an Earthquake in theory. Yep, perfect. And I think we win now. Because this is Specs. 100% Specs. Ah, good game. Good game, good game. So I think, yeah, the rocks... It was, it was either the rocks or the earthquake. Oh, shoot. We still knock it out, though, right? Pretty sure it did, like, 30-something. And they don't have Protect. Yeah, because that... Yeah, exactly. It should knock it out. It should knock it out. It did, it did like, 36. Yeah, good game. Good game! Good game. Solid game, though. And I'm really glad in this one we actually... Uh, we got the perfect, perfect match for the Oko from King Gambit with Grass Knot. Let's go. Tough game though, very tough game, but we came through in the end, which is absolutely what you love to see. And on to the next one. So beautiful first game. And we do have another great tusk in this one. Ooh, okay, okay. I definitely think King Gambit puts in a lot of work here. So this should be very interesting. Let's lead with the Rotom. And I think immediately going to Hatterene here is the play. As they Draco Meteor. Okay, so we know what set it is. They go Golden Go here. We get to go... Um, I don't know about Hard King Gambit. Don't know about Hard King Gambit. Let's go Garchomp. Just to kind of see what they want to do. Yeah, they try to they try to Focus Blast to hit the King Gambit. Not going to work. Um, so here we can just go right for the Earthquake. And then... Um, I mean, we could win the Speed Tie. We could. And we don't, so beautiful. I don't know what I was expecting there, but that's fine. Um, we get to go into Hatterene once again and click Draining Kiss. Let's take a Golden Go. If they're gonna, I mean, they might just Focus Blast again, or they might not. So the play would be to go King Gambit here. They do have Nasty Plot. Let's Sucker Punch this. They go Great Tusk. It's time. Terra Grass. Terra Grass, it's time. <laughs> it is indeed time for this Mon to put in the work. 91 is pretty respectable as well. Let's go Hatterene here. So that's pretty good damage. Maybe we bounce back some potential rocks. Nope, they knock off and they should die in the process. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. So that's really, really good for us. Very nice. Still got to worry about the Dragonite though. They go Gren here. Let's go for the uh, switch to Rotom. As they Hydro does a lot. And now we can uh, Hydro Pump back. Hit this Garchomp, please. Nice. That's pretty good. They go Dragapult. Let's go ahead here and uh, protect to see what they want to do. And I've made my last mistake. Cool. Okay, that's going to be annoying. But I think we'll be okay if we just pop this thing's... Uh, this thing's... Uh, this guy's, or the darts thing. Cool. Oh, the substitute, I meant <laughs> substitute. So they Terra Dragon. They Terra Dragon. Um, kind of powerful. I don't think it would knock this out. I think we, we could probably just close combat here, or we could also U-turn. Let's close combat. Okay, they go for a Golden Go. So they switched out, which is good for us. Always good for us. Um... Gonna U-turn out here, the Shadow Ball. We take that pretty well. We can go King Gambit here. And then just uh Kowtow Cleave. Hit the Dragonite slot. And then we can probably just go for it again. If we get rid of Dragonite, that's a good good look for us. Ice Spinner does not knock us out, thankfully. Let's go into Hatterene here. We should we should still have our Rocky Helmet. Yeah. Cool. So that's gone. That Pokemon is gone. They go Golden Go here. We can just click Mystical Fire. Do they know we have Sucker Punch? They probably don't, right? Probably don't. Let's go King Gambit. Sucker Punch here. Just in case they stay in, which they don't. Okay. Um, now you have to play around this thing. Which is going to be annoying, to say the least. Okay. And, uh, perfect. 
Now we cut out. Yep. <laughs> That's how to outplay right there. Perfect. Beautiful outplaying right there. Gren comes in here. I think we have to sack Slitherwing. I believe we have to sack Slitherwing here. But they go golden go. Okay, so let's go ahead and U-turn out. They make it rain. Special attack drop. Let's go into King Gambit here. Let's go right for the uh, Sucker Punch, but they nasty plot up. And then they go Gren, so we have to sack Slytherin once again. The Ice Beam, cool. So we get to go Rotom here. We get to click Hydro Pump. Which will be a 2 KO on the Golden Go. I assume they might be slower as well. Yes, yeah, so let's Volt out here. Okay, perfect. Into King Gambit we go. And they should be, I think, they would, if they're Life Orb, would they have spikes? Um, would they or would they not have spikes? So I think we definitely Sucker Punch here. The extra sensory. Um, let's protect. Maybe I should have switched out because I thought if they locked into Dark Pulse, they would um, clearly win. Ah, nice. We made it. Good game, good game. GG to you as well. Good game. And uh, I mean, both of those first and second games were super close ones and really good ones too at that. I mean, we had to kind of outplay the, uh, a bunch of stuff there, like the Dragapult and, and things like that. But yeah, really good game. Um, that was well played uh, for sure. On to the next one now. So two great games back to back. Fantastic. Now we have here... Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. Have fun. Now, I definitely think that this might be potential... Um, it could be Spikes, Meow Scrata, maybe. We don't have a good kind of King Gambit game for this one. But maybe we do. Maybe we do with like Iron Head and stuff like that. Sucker Punch could work. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave Garchomp here. They do lead Meow Scarada, And um, I'm going to go Hatterene first. They leave storm. Okay, so it is a leaf storm set, which is um, this is the spikes, the spikes masquerade, leaf storm knockoff, spikes taunt. I think is what it is. So we're back at a good amount of health now, and now I think we can go into King Gambit here. They trick. They, oh, they give us a choice scarf, which means now we're <laughs> we're faster than uh, I don't know something. So they go King Gambit. We can go Slithering here. Right into Slithering we go. We could also just double Kotao Cleave, as they also go for a 2. Now we go into uh, Slither Wing. They should start clicking Swords Dance or something at some point. So they go Garchomp here, okay. We go Hatterene. This is probably Rocks. Of some sort. They go into their own eject button out. Okay. Into Golden Go. They go. So they are Choice Scarf, which means they probably have Focus Blast, but yeah, they do. I don't know. If, I don't know if they're gonna hit it the next one too. I'm not. I'm no longer AV, unfortunately. So this is a unfortunate for us. Focus miss, indeed. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. However, it's not really needed. Maybe I'll switch out here. Maybe I'll double out in the Lidge. Yep, try to go for it again. Nice. Now we can uh, Bitter Blade. We live any Shadow Ball. Sack me out, Nice. Okay, cool. Garchomp comes in. We get to go... Hatterene, into Rotom, into Rotom maybe, or maybe we'll just Drain and Kiss, yeah, there we go, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I was tempted to switch, I was very tempted to, thank you, thank you, <laughs> yeah, he knows, like, I, I changed it, like, last, last second, ah, and a forfeit too, okay, not bad, not bad, <laughs> not bad at all, but, Thumbnail text. I mean, you know, the game wasn't the most satisfactory King Gambit game of all, but it was a thumbnail text game, and I'm glad we got it. So, 
Nice. And uh, on to the next one. I like this picture with the King Gambit in the chessboard. I don't think it's official, but I found it. Alright, we have... Uh, I think a Garchomp lead is looking quite nice. Also a... Actually, no, a Rotom lead. I like the Rotom lead here. This is looking pretty good because if they lead with uh, Iron Valiant, we can uh, Thunder Wave whatever. This is looking like a good Thunder Wave game. Or just like statusing stuff. Like Wisp this, T-Wave these four, the these three, Wisp this, and this, and Hydro Pump this, or Grass on this, Grass on this. Yeah, we got we got options here. We do have a lot of options. But the cool thing is that this is a Grass Knot game, potentially. Let's Thunder Wave here. Moonblast doing 54, and now you are paralyzed. And this is probably choice specs, I would assume. So here, we're definitely going to Volt out into Serral Edge. As they, oh, they're not choice back. Okay, maybe that was just, that was just that. Okay, so, interesting. They go Skeleturge here. I am definitely going back to Rotom. They're getting the drops pretty well, pretty easily. Will they Terra with this or not? That is the question. Paralyzing this is beautiful too. Hydro Pump misses not. Okay, cool. Um... Wonderful. Now, what do we do? We get to go Garchomp here. We get to click Earthquake. If they go Great Tusk, that's fine because I can Draco Meteor right after. And they switch out. Um, cool. Let's go Serilage here and let's Bitter Blade. As they go Pex, we're definitely going to taunt you. That is 100% for a fact. They have Surf though. Um, so we're going Garchomp here. We are clicking Earthquake. And Iron Valiant is dead. And Great Tusk is dead. <laughs> and everything is dead. Unfortunately, I, I can't grasp on that, but I mean, getting rid of Mon after Mon, I'll take it. Uh, they go Dragonite here. We definitely go into Slitherwing and burn you expeditiously. They go Skeletor, so they get the U-turn out here. Yeah, as long as we keep this thing healthy, we'll be okay. Um, here we get to go into... I guess I'll just go Garchomp here. They sub. Ooh, they have sub. And now we get to go King Gambit. And, um... Kautau. Will they tear this thing or not, is the question. I don't know. I don't know if they will. They do. So this will at least still hurt it quite a bit. And the AV coming through. <laughs> the nice power of AV Chinese King Gambit. You already know. Okay, let's go Slitherwing here. As the extreme speed, we can now U-turn out. As they go Pex, we can bring in uh, Hatterene and go right for the, uh, well, we haven't teared anything yet. We can go for the Mystical Fire here. As they go King Gambit, weaken it. It has fallen. I think we have to sack Serilage. As they go for the Iron Head. Let's, um, just Bitter Blade, because so they do have the Sucker as well. Um, we definitely Wisp here. Close combat has to knock this out, right? Yeah, perfect. Okay, so that mon's gone. Um, Pex is in now. We get to go into Hatterene. And then I think we just double. Mm, that didn't work. Um, okay. That did not work out as well as I'd liked. Get a Morning Sun here. And you turn out. Into Hatterene. We go back. Uh, we gotta go back to Slithering now. There's a lot. Let's uh, Morning Sun here. We're faster either way. Kind of have to outplay a little bit. So we get some damage here. Perfect. Double out. Cool, 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 cool. That works. You turn out here into Hatterene. Psy Shock here. And now we Mystical Fire here. It's annoying, but... What can we do? Alright, so... Slithering time, um... Close combat here, doesn't do a lot. You turn into King Gambit. So we have the power of the Supreme Overlord! Kautau! And then... Slithering here. Morning Sun. You turn out. Oh, okay, that, that works. That kind of works. Um, 
Sucker Punch. Gone. Dragonite's in. Slitherwing time. They switch out. That's fine. We get to U-turn out here into King Gambit. Can't Toxic me either. Spam Katao. Katao. Ah, the roll! Let's go! <laughs> Beautiful rolls is what you love to see. Will Lewis peers the play. They try to do that. Okay, that's fine. You turn out here into King Gambit. I think we can Terrasilize you and click Katao. And unfortunately for you, our Terrasilization is superior. Good game. Ah, not bad. So that was a pretty fire end game there, and I do like the rolls a lot. It's that attack stat right there, 204 attack. Was it 20? Yeah, 204 plus attack right there. Hard to expect <laughs> a Chinese EV spread when you see one. Um, ah, nice. That was a great game overall. I'm really liking the, the games we've been getting so far. And that one thumbnail text too. Gotta include that, of course. Um, okay, cool. So we have... Uh, we have... Nothing really that King Gambit is really that good against. Other than maybe the uh, Hatterene. That's about it. Looks like a Rotom lead though. So let's go ahead and do that. As they lead with this. And they're probably going to get rocks up here. So we go into Hatterene. Because it looks like they're only Hazard Setter. They go Roaring Moon though, so we can now Draining Kiss. A successful... Oh, never mind. But they take Rocky Helmet Chip, which is always good. Always, always good. And into who will you go into? Probably Corviknight, right? Sandy Shocks. Um, okay, I'll Mystical Fire then, unless they Vol Switch out. But I will Mystical Fire here. Ah, a Hatterene of your own, and you don't know my power. <laughs> okay, amazing. Um, let's Mystical Fire here. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> That's fire. They're gonna roost though. Technically, they could stall out my uh, my things. I will combine up one. Combined. And now I'm gonna click. Draining Kiss. I guess Sashok would have been better. But still, not too bad. Alright, here we get to go into... Let me get Sashok here. 55 is a good, good amount of damage. I think we beat this 1v1 anyways. Hattering definitely gives them some trouble though. Morning Sun, shouldn't matter. 55 into 64 roll is insane. That's almost 10%. That's like the low and the high right there. So now they're definitely going Roaring Moon and clicking Crunch. Or Terra Crunch, I would assume. Nothing of this. Okay, that means we get to go into Serilage. This is probably Choice Specs. So I feel like Serilage can just wall this pretty easily. Oh, they're actually uh, physical. Ooh. And I guess they have knockoff? What would they have? I don't want to tear this though. So maybe they're maybe they're um scarfed or banded maybe? Could be an option for them. Well we definitely go Slitherwing here on their crunch and just immediate U-turn out here as they bring in Corviknight, and we get to go into Rotom and then go right for the Hydro Pump and try to hit the Sandy Shocks. Mm-hmm, perfect, perfect. Just all according to plan right here. All according to plan. And they bring in this. Now this mon here, this is where King Gambit comes in. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that right now. This is where King Gambit comes in. Go right for the, uh, I guess the Iron Head could work. Unless they tear this mon. Which they do, and I can Katao instead. They Nuzzle. Draining Kiss. Heals a... Ah, well. Gonna have to play this game now. So 
Sucker Punch. <sighs> hexed. Nice and hexed. Sucker Punch, here's the play though. And then... That's just really annoying. Um, yeah. So we go Sarah Ledge here and click... Maybe bulk up a couple times. They have stored power as well. Um, okay. Time to, uh... Bitter Blade is 45 power. Okay, that's good. I think this is in range now of an Earthquake. Life Orb should be in range. Yep, perfect. But the Hax was a super, like, super, super annoying. With the uh, King Gambit. Because we would have knocked out a Sucker Punch from that range. More than likely. Um... Yeah, we got to sack Hatterene as they Spirit Break, and then we go into Rotom, and then we click Thunder Wave here. As they go, yep, another dodge. Beautiful. You turn out. So now we can protect on whatever comes in. It's going to be the Moon. They've already Terra though, which we haven't, so it could be useful for us. They lock in an Outrage, and that's going to do a lot of damage. Um, we're going to want a Thunder Wave here. And a Critical Hits. Ah, nice. That's cool. Hurt and Confusion deserved, to say the least. Um, Hurt and Confusion again. Deserved, to say the least. And now we go into Rotom here to get some additional leftovers back. We go Iron Valiant. Let's protect here. Close combat. They should be locked into that, I think. That is a lot, though. That does a lot, a lot. Um, all right. So that knocks me out. We, I think that's banded. Garchom can probably live. Let's Fire Blast here. It should to it the Corv. Or knock this out entirely. Oh, the cool thing is I haven't used my Terra yet, right? So actually... Come on, stop. Alright, perfect. I haven't used my Terra yet, so actually I think... I think we'll... Uh, <laughs> this will be interesting. This will be quite interesting. Um... Okay, yes, it's time. GG. I'm gonna protect first. Just to give them the false sense of security. <laughs> and then I'm gonna blast them with the Hydro Pump. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, not bad. Not bad at all. The Terra Ghost coming through. <laughs> what a game. What an absolutely fantastic game. I mean, it, was, it got tough. With the Hatterene, Paralysis, and all that kind of stuff. And also really putting in the work and, and things like that. And um, some of the dodges here and there. But we came through in the end. The Terra Ghost. This is why I have Terra Ghost on that mod. I think Terra Ghost and Terra Steel are both great. I mean, it, it's good against the Dragonite, Extreme Speed, or Earthquake combination. But, I mean, versus like something like that, situational, things like that, it's just absolutely beautiful. Ah, Chef's Kiss. Woo! Very nice, very nice. And before we ended this video off, I wanted to show you all a nice replay. One of those classic replays that I sometimes pull up at the end of a video. Uh, this one is a very good one in particular, but it's not played by myself. It's played by none other than the infamous Joey Poke MMD. He sent me this replay. He was testing out Grass Knot King Emmett as well. He knew I was going to do a video with it, but wanted to show me his spin on it with this team right here. And um, this is a really cool uh, King Emmett set as well. I think it's Life Orb, so it's doing more damage. But, you know, not, not the Chinese set. But I wanted to show this replay because of what went down in this game. Let me show you all what happened. So, um, they lead Meowth he leads with the Glamora, and uh, the knockoff is immediate turn one. I think he goes for the Mortal Spin turn one, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. He does, yeah, probably predicting Great Tusk or something to come in, because it's a spinner. But uh, the exchange here is that this goes down, this is poisoned, T-Spikes are up, but they will be absorbed by the Amoongus. However, Volcarona now gets a free Quiver Dance on this turn here. And now, of course, plus one speed and everything like that, looking dangerous. They Terra Flying. 
uh, or Terra flying with the Amoongus. He Terra's flying with the with the Volk and misses the Hurricane, but that's all right. I mean, I don't. I think Amoongus probably might have lived anyways, and then regenerated. But yeah, so this is gonna go down here with the um, Thunder Punch from Masquerada, Okoing it from full. Here's where things get interesting, though. <laughs> King Gambit comes in. It's got the Fallen too. Great Tusk comes in. The Grass Knot comes out. Oko's the Great Tusk. Ah, not bad at all. So it is Life Orb, and I think even with the Fallen 2, even without Life Orb, it probably would have knocked it out. Maybe. But it guarantees the Oko on the more defensive sets as well. So, thus, but like, let's just examine this, these two turns really quick. Once again, Great Tusk comes in, Grass Knot knocks it out, one hit gone. Cinderace comes in, Sucker Punch knocks it out, one hit gone. <laughs> Is Dondozo coming in? Dondozo comes in, and then there's the double right there on the on the grass knot. But I mean, like they double into Meowskarada of all things. What sucker punch, right, or something like that comes out here? What what's gonna come out? They, oh, like, he switches to Scizor, probably expecting maybe uh, spikes or something. He could defog, I guess. Um, but yeah, so then uh, Dragon, I guess, put to sleep. This comes back in, and it basically just walls this Amoongus for days. Um, and of course, having this Grass Knot King Gambit in the back really kind of limits Dondozo because that Mon is heavy. That Mon's super heavy. But two Mon's already getting destroyed by the uh, the King Gambit here. And so the Rotom Wash comes in now. It's gonna go for the Curse here, which, I mean, it's not really gonna matter too much, I think. As uh, the Slow King comes out here. And it's a sub Rotom. Ah, is this Nasty Plot? Yeah, it is Nasty Plot, I remember now. Um, they go for the Future Sight. Doesn't matter at all. This thing is just gonna come through. Uh, with a Thunderbolt, almost knocking it out, paralyzing it though, Chilly Reception, okay, so now it goes into Meowskarada, I don't know why, because now it's gonna get poisoned, and then it only has one turn left, so it has to break the sub though, but it's gonna go for the U-turn here, which is uh, gonna knock out Scizor, Amoongus comes in, I don't know if King Gambit does anything else in this game, but yeah. I like the GG, the GG well played as they leave, as they just completely leave um, as fire, but yeah, the Terra Flying was I think what sealed the deal because because of Terra flying they just opened themselves up to to Rotom and then with Dragonite being sleep foddered it was very tough to beat but the two turns with the King Gambit Oko on the Great Tusk and the Cinderace good game Joe it's GG is aim GG is aim right there and of course GG is envy once again for this video so thank you everybody for watching hope you all enjoyed the AV Chinese King Gambit with the Grass Knot and I'm just so glad that even in the first game that we had that was the most immaculate Oko of a Great Tusk ever, even without the Life Orb. It was with the AV, so um, the Terra Grass just sealing the deal for us there and actually saving us in many scenarios. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Like I said in the beginning of the video, let me know in the comments uh, what your thoughts are on the new stuff revealed from the Pokemon News. I'm super excited. I'm super, super hyped for uh, what's to come and what has already come. So I'll see you all on the next one and peace.